Okay, today we'll be opening up this Mobile One oil filter number M1-209A and we'll compare it to this Purelator Boss oil filter number PBL20195. And I got these two oil filters from a very generous viewer whose name is Steve from Virginia. Thanks Steve. Even though these filters are not the recommended oil filters for Steve's 2020 Ford Edge with the 2.0 liter turbocharged engine, they do both fit. And if he can, he likes to use bigger oil filters. The recommended size oil filter for his vehicle is the smaller Mobile One M1-102A oil filter and the smaller Purelator Boss oil filter number PBL10241. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the mobile and we'll start with the box. It's rated for 20,000 miles. Look over here. Enhanced nitro gasket, durable anti-drain bag valve, steel center tube. Look over here. Removes over 99% of contaminants. And that's rated right here at removing particles greater than 30 microns. Okay, let's take a look at this filter. The date code F11. P30C1. This is a sticker. It says right here, made in USA. And this filter has seven elongated inlet holes. A lot of grooves there for threads, about five grooves there for threads. Metal core louvers, bypass valve down below, and nitro rubber gasket. Design here pretty good. Pretty thick also. That looks nice. Okay, and let's look at the Pure Later Boss Oil Filter. Also rated up to 20,000 miles. Synthetic media. And let's see. Pure Seal Gasket. Silicone anti drain back valve. And the rating here. Pure Later Boss. 20,000. Full synthetic. 99% plus. And that's it. If you look on their website, that's at 25 microns. And this has the polymer backing. It says Smart Fusion Technology. All right, let's open up this filter, see what it looks like. And the date code, F01R23F1. This filter also has a sticker. And made in USA. Also, seven elongated inlet holes, metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below. Also, a lot of grooves, about five grooves, different threads. And this is their Puro Seal gasket, ethylene acrylic gasket. Also, pretty thick. Yeah, these base plates look identical. Okay, let's cut these two filters open and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The mobile is 347.4 grams. The Pure Later is 354.9 grams. Let's take a look at these gaskets. The gaskets are almost identical in thickness. I'll put that up on screen here. Yeah, you can see the, the ethylene acrylic gaskets are like smoother. But both are nice gaskets, nice and thick. Base plates, the Pure Later is 168.3 grams. And the Mobile is 168.6 grams. And these guys are like identical. Um, you see they got the same kind of stamping there. Threads are the same. Inlet holes are the same. Yeah, these are nice base plates, so nice and thick, heavy. And anti drain back valves, they're both silicone. Both the same, also. They got different writing on them, though, but. You know, they're, they're both the same. They cover up the inlet holes nicely. Okay, and the filter elements. Let's 
go with the pure layer first. 109.6 grams and 96 grams, well 95.9 grams is for the mobile. We got a glued seam right here. A little bit of excess glue on this mobile filter. Metal end caps, bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 16 PSI. You can see the extra glue. And this filter has 65 pleats. It has a micron rating, just like the box says. Nine, it says over 99% for particles greater than 30 microns. And it's a synthetic blend filter media. A little, little extra glue here also. Okay, and the purulator. Purulator has a metal crimp seam. Five less pleats. The purulator has 60 pleats. Metal end caps. Bypass valve also, 16 PSI. And the purulator is a synthetic filter media with a micron rating of 95%. It says over, nine, it says 99% plus. Particles, 25 microns. Like I said, this has got the polymer backing on it. Okay. And the inside of the cans, they both got stamply springs. Okay. See, those are identical. Okay, and the cans. Well, pure later, 57.9 grams. The mobile, 64.3 grams. Let's get their thicknesses. I was getting about point, point three five. let Let's see. Yeah, about 0.34 millimeters. They're both about the same thickness. It's the pure later. Point three, yeah, 0.35 millimeters. See that right there? They're kind of on the thin side. And the widths. The mobile is 3.38. Let's call that 3.39 inches wide. Now it slipped off. 3.42 inches wide. Okay, it looks like the mobile is going to have more filter media. What do you guys think? Well, let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and uh, see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out. And the pure later boss oil filter is... 48 inches long. The mobile filter is 52 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these guys. The mobile filter, 1.21 millimeters thick. And the pure later boss oil filter is 1.47 millimeters thick. And the boss is a little bit thicker because it's got this uh, polymer backing on it. See right there. Let me take it a measurement without the backing, just to be fair. 0.89 millimeters thick. Here's the front side. Filtering side, the back side. You see, you can see all this polymer backing. This is really strong stuff also. So uh, both of these filters look like they'd probably do a pretty good job filtering. Let's take a look at them under a microscope. Yeah, so I think both of them do a pretty good job at filtering. You know, but this one's the pure later. I like this polymer mesh backing. It's really strong stuff. This is throughout the whole filter. 
you get about 12 square inches of more filter media with the mobile filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So these two filters are pretty identical. The gaskets, almost the same thickness. This one just got the ethylene acrylic. Made out of the ethylene acrylic. The base plates, they're the same. Any drain back valves, that's the same. Stamp leaf springs the same. Both got metal cores with louvers. We'll take a look at that in a minute. What I want to show you is the glue on them are different. This one has this black glue, and this is what happened when I was cutting it open. It just came right apart. It's still stuck there, but you can just pull it right off. Comes right off whole. It's, it's soft stuff. This black uh, glue is soft. So did this one. This one came apart also. See that? But they both have the same uh, bypass valves. And I'll show you this one here. This is the stronger glue. It's like a cream colored glue. It's really hard. It's hard. This stuff you can't you can't peel off like that black stuff. I like the filters that do have this this glue right here. Yep, this is good stuff. Now let's take a look at these louvers. Shut the light off. You can see those are all opened up on the mobile filter. And on the boss filter, they're all opened up also. They all look good. And the cans, I give those a tie too. They're, they're pretty much the same thickness. So the price you pay for this mobile filter, I wouldn't think that this is good, you know? It, it, it's not going to fall apart probably when it's all together, but still, you know... I don't understand that. That's kind of a lousy glue when it's not sticking. It's not sticking to the metal. It's definitely some kind of problem there. What do you guys think? Between these two, I take the Pure Later Boss. And again, I want to thank Steve for sending me these two oil filters. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The mobile filter media weighs 24.1 gram. The Purolator Boss filter media weighs 32.7 grams.